Greetings, one and all. Welcome back to Whatever Happened To, the series where we take a where are they now look at players who found success in the National Hockey League but are no longer permanent fixtures in the league either due to controversy, poor play or just rotten luck. In today's episode, we are going to be taking a look at a 13-year veteran of the National Hockey League as we ask, whatever happened to Joffrey Lupul? After being drafted 7th overall in the 2002 NHL entry draft by the mighty Ducks of Anaheim, remember them folks, Joffrey Lupul spent a year in the Western Hockey League with the Medicine Hat Tigers before joining Anaheim full-time for the 2003-04 season. In his first season in the National Hockey League, Joffrey Lupul notched 13 goals and 21 assists for 34 points in 75 games. A pretty strong showing for a first round draft pick with some high expectations on his shoulders to produce the points. Lupul's sophomore NHL season, the 2004-05 season, saw the NHL in a lockout. So Lupul was assigned to the Ducks AHL affiliate, the Cincinnati Mighty Ducks, for the entirety of the season. While wearing the alternate Captain A on his jersey, Lupul scored 30 goals and 26 assists for 56 points in 65 AHL games that season. Lupul also scored 3 goals and 9 assists for 12 points in 12 AHL playoff games as the Cincinnati Mighty Ducks took a 4-3 series win in round 1 against Milwaukee, but were eliminated in 5 games by the Chicago Wolves in round 2. The NHL resumed for the 2005-06 season and Lupul used his time in the AHL to establish himself as a key player and point scorer on the Mighty Ducks roster. Lupul notched 28 goals and 25 assists for 53 points in 81 games that season, as well as scoring 9 goals and 2 assists for 11 points in 16 playoff games. But the Mighty Ducks of Anaheim were eliminated in the Western Conference Finals in a five-game series against the Edmonton Oilers. Then, seemingly out of nowhere, on July 4, 2006, Joffrey Lupul was traded, along with defenseman Ladislav Smeed and some draft picks, to the Edmonton Oilers, the team that took them out of the 2006 playoffs in exchange for defenseman Chris Pronger. Just like that, Joffrey Lupul had been traded north of the border to a Stanley Cup finalist. Which could only mean good things, right? Well, the 2006-07 season saw Lupul struggle to make an impact on the Oilers roster, as he only put up 16 goals and 12 assists for 28 points in 81 games. However, this whole situation was made even worse when the newly renamed Anaheim Ducks won the Stanley Cup during the 2007 NHL playoffs. The team Lupul had just been traded away from less than a year ago had gone all the way and won the Stanley Cup without him. If that doesn't sting for a player, I don't know what does. After his lacklustre season with the Edmonton Oilers, Lupul was traded once again on July 1st, 2007, along with the Edmonton Oilers captain Jason Smith, to the Philadelphia Flyers, in exchange for Yoni Pitkinen, Jeff Sanderson, and a 2007 third round pick in the entry draft. Lupul was given another chance with a new franchise in a different city, to show he was a bona fide NHL player. And boy, did he come out swinging. Lupul's 2007-08 NHL season was limited to just 56 games due to injury, but he played well enough to score 20 goals and 26 assists for 46 points in that span. Lupul also scored 4 goals and 6 assists for 10 points in 17 playoff games, but the Flyers were eliminated in a 5-game series in the Eastern Conference Finals by the Pittsburgh Penguins. Even though they didn't win the Stanley Cup that year, Joffrey Lupul was rewarded for his efforts since the beginning of the season as he signed a four-year contract extension with the Flyers on July 21, 2008. The 2008-09 season saw Lupul make good on his new extension and continue his resurgence in the league as he notched 25 goals and 25 assists for 50 points in 79 games. However, Lupul's postseason production saw a dip as he only notched a goal and an assist for two points in six playoff games as the Philadelphia Flyers were eliminated in a six-game series in the first round, once again by the Pittsburgh Penguins. 
I can see why these teams hate each other so much now. They played a lot of playoff hockey against each other. Then, once again, seemingly out of nowhere, on June the 26th, 2009, Joffrey Lupul was traded back to the Anaheim Ducks, along with defenseman Lucas Spisa and two first-round draft picks, in exchange for Chris Pronger, the second time Joffrey Lupul and Chris Pronger had been involved in the same trade. Just one year into his four-year contract, Joffrey Lupul saw himself shipped back to the team that drafted him for another shot at fulfilling the expectations that the Ducks staff placed on him when they drafted him seventh overall in the entry draft. Lupul's 09-10 NHL season was limited to just 23 games, where he put up 10 goals and 4 assists for 14 points in that span. However, due to the back surgery on an injury he had suffered and a subsequent blood infection from the surgery, Lupul had to miss the final 59 games of the season to recover. Lupul missed a total of 12 months of playing time recovering from his injury and the blood infection, which carried over into the 10-11 NHL season, where he missed the first 28 games. Lupul looked to return to form after recovering from his injury, putting up 5 goals and 8 assists for 13 points in 26 games with the Ducks. But it wasn't enough to keep him in the Anaheim organisation this time, as on February 9th, 2011, Lupul was traded once again, along with defenseman Jake Gardner and a conditional 2013 draft pick, to the Toronto Maple Leafs in exchange for defenseman Francois Beauchemin. Funnily enough, the trade didn't actually include Lupul originally, but the Ducks needed to stay under the salary cap, so sent Lupul away as a cap dump. Guy, he's had the worst luck when it comes to trades, hasn't he? After playing 49 out of a possible 162 games in his second stint with Anaheim over two seasons, Lupul was once again heading north of the border to one of hockey's biggest and most critical markets after the fourth trade in his NHL career and his third trade involving the Anaheim Ducks franchise. After being dealt to the Toronto Maple Leafs, Lupul finished the 10-11 NHL season off well, notching 9 goals and 9 assists for 18 points in 28 games with the Maple Leafs. The 2011-12 NHL season saw a finally healthy Joffrey Lupul have an offensive renaissance once again. Lupul notched 25 goals and 42 assists for 67 points in 66 games, as the Maple Leafs winger averaged over a point per game for the first time in his NHL career, as well as recording a career high in assists. Whilst Lupul would have a career season, the Maple Leafs would miss out on the playoffs as Toronto finished fourth in their division. The 2012-13 NHL season saw Lupul start the year with Avto Mobilist in the KHL, as the NHL started the season in a lockout due to negotiations for a new collective bargaining agreement. After scoring a goal and three assists for four points in nine KHL games, the NHL season was finally underway, and Lupul returned to the Maple Leafs. Lupul's strong play since joining the Maple Leafs and his locker room presence was rewarded as he was named an alternate captain of the Maple Leafs for the shortened 2012-13 season. As well as earning the A on his jersey, on January 20th, 2013, Joffrey Lupul signed a five-year, $26.25 million contract extension with an average annual value of $5.25 million to remain in Toronto for the foreseeable future. Whilst Lupul had earned his big payday, his on-ice performance didn't get off to the greatest start. Lupul played 16 games for the Maple Leafs in the 48-game 12-13 season, notching 11 goals and 7 assists for 18 points, but he missed 25 games due to a fractured arm. Lupul did score 3 goals and an assist for 4 points in 7 playoff games, as the Leafs made the playoffs for the first time since 2004, However, the Leafs were eliminated in the first round in Game 7 by the Boston Bruins. The 2013-14 NHL season saw Lupul healthier and seemingly back to his old self, as he scored 22 goals and 22 assists for 44 points in 69 games. Whilst Lupul would see an improvement in his point production compared to the previous year, the Maple Leafs would miss out on the playoffs once again, finishing 6th in their division. The 2014-15 NHL season saw Lupul's point production cut almost in half from his usual full season totals, as he notched 10 goals and 11 assists for 21 points in 55 games. Lupul's production reflected the Maple Leaf season, who missed the playoffs for the second straight year, coming 7th in their division. 
Whilst this wasn't the best year for Joffrey Lupul, the worst was certainly yet to come. Lupul's 2015-16 NHL season was limited to just 46 games, where he scored a disappointing 11 goals and 3 assists for 14 points. However, a bigger concern than his point production was his health. Lupul was placed on injured reserve on December 1st, 2015, after suffering a lower body injury. He then returned to the lineup, but was injured again in February and shut down for the season to have surgery. Having missed 40% of the Maple Leafs games over the last four seasons due to injury, and facing a decline in his offensive production when in the lineup, rumours began to circulate as early as February 2016 concerning whether Lupul could continue to play at the NHL level anymore. With two years left on the contract extension he signed with the Leafs that carried an average annual value of $5.25 million, there was a rumour that the Maple Leafs management was planning to sideline Lupul and his contract under the long-term injured reserve for the remainder of his contract, similarly to what the team had supposedly done to defenceman Stefan Robidar and his contract following the 14-15 NHL season. The 2016-17 NHL season saw Joffrey Lupul placed on long-term injury reserve on September 22, 2016, as the Maple Leafs announced that Lupul had failed his pre-season physical examination. This came despite comments from Lupul and from teammate Nazem Kadri implying that Lupul wanted to and had the ability to play that season. By mid-February 2017, media reports suggested that Lupul had played his last NHL game and that he had gone silent with the media and with one of his agents for months. The 2017-18 season saw Joffrey Lupul trying to get healthy and back into the Leafs lineup. But in September 2017, the Leafs organisation had declared that Lupul failed his physical examinations at training camp for the second straight year and was subsequently placed on the team's long-term injury reserve before the start of the season. Lupul then made several posts on his Instagram account saying that he was healthy and accused the Maple Leafs of cheating the system by assigning him to the long-term injured reserve so Lupul's salary could not count towards the Maple Leafs' salary cap. These accusations prompted the NHL to administer a second physical examination by a doctor independent from the National Hockey League, but Lupul failed the physical, which once again deemed him unfit to play. To this day, Joffrey Lupul remains on the Maple Leafs' long-term injured reserve, having not played a professional hockey game in either the NHL or any other professional hockey league for the last two years. Lupul's five-year contract, which he signed with the Leafs back in 2013, runs out at the end of this season, so Lupul will become an unrestricted free agent able to sign with any team that will have him. However, at 34 years old, he's not exactly getting any younger nearing his mid-30s, and he's way past the prime years of his career, so things aren't looking too good with regard to any future playing time in the NHL for Joffrey Lupul. Also, questions about his health and whether he is actually fit enough to play a game, let alone make a positive impact on an NHL roster, having failed multiple physical examinations over the last two years, means that Lupul's value as a player in the league is up for debate, but pretty much at rock bottom right now. So I personally don't see Joffrey Lupul returning to the NHL at all. As a player, anyway. So someone who entered the league with a world of expectations on his shoulders as the seventh overall draft pick in his draft class is now waiting out the end of his contract on the long-term injured reserve list. Lupul has seen his career go through offensive explosions and unfortunate dips. From the heights of health to a plethora of injuries, and from the California Sunbelt to the Toronto media empire. One thing's for sure though, considering he put up 205 goals and 215 assists for 420 points in 701 NHL games over his career, Joffrey Lupul sure has seen and accomplished a lot over his 13-year NHL career. And there you go. That's what happened to Joffrey Lupul. What do you think about Joffrey Lupul's career? Was it good, bad, or do you think he was cheated out of playing hockey this year? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys think. But thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. Please feel free to like, subscribe, share, watch some of my other videos. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.